first started to look with a wash of this transition shade all over the lid, just blending up towards the brow, using little circular motions and keeping somewhat of a sideways V shape in the outer corner, just being very light handed and applying a wash all over. Next with this crease shade, creating a line above my natural crease. Just making the line the thickness of the brush. Just focusing on the color placement before I start to blend. In the outer corner, I'm following the upward slope of my lower lash line and then connecting it with that crease line, creating a triangle type shape on the outer corner and then bringing it in towards the inner corner. Next, I'm gonna blend out the top edge of the line we just applied. Using windshield wiper motions as well as little circular motions, just taking my time, blending it out, working my way towards the outer corner. You can go back in with that first big brush to help blend out a little bit if needed but I'm just being careful to maintain that sideways V shape in the outer corner. With this deep brown shade, I'm applying that tighter into the crease and then blending into that previous brown shade with this flat brush. Just gently feathering it, adding a little bit of depth I'm mainly focusing it on the outer corner, but I am swiping it towards the inner corner. With this flat brush, I'm turning it at the same angle of where I'm applying it. So here on the outer V, I'm keeping the angle at the same swoop as my lower lash line to maintain that shape. Just kind of feathering it out, being very light handed. Just kind of buffing out the edges to have a soft blend feathering it towards the inner corner. Next with concealer, I'm mapping out my cut crease by stamping the brush above my natural crease and then stopping about two thirds of the way in and just kind of feathering that out. Doing the same thing on the inner corner and then just cleaning up that line and then feathering the concealer downwards. I'm applying this gold all over that void space on the center of the lid. Just applying it all over the lid. Just kind of feathering it side to side. Working my way towards the inner corner. And then just kind of dipping into the color as I need more and then bringing it up to that line. Next with the champagne color, I'm applying it to the inner corner and then feathering it into the gold. Just packing on the color and then using little feathering motions on the edges. Next with this lash line color, I'm creating a V shape in the outer corner but bringing it in on the lid a little bit. So I'm just kind of stamping on the color and sweeping it and then connecting it to that cut crease at the top and then filling in the space but not bringing it over that dark brown. I wanna blend it into that. So here I'm just feathering it inwards to blend into the gold and the crease shades. I want this to be like a blown out type look. Using little side to side motions and then maintaining that sideways V shape this is just adding a little bit of depth in the outer corner. Next with green liner, I'm starting in the inner corner and slowly dragging that towards the outer corner. I'm keeping the line thinner over here towards the inner corner and then making the line thicker towards the outer corner. I'm bringing this all the way to where my eyelashes stop growing in the outer corner. And then just cleaning up that top line using little feathering motions to touch it up. Next, I'm drawing a line at the same angle of my lower lash line and then connecting that to the end of the line we just did. And then filling in that shape in the outer corner to complete the wing. 
I'm also adding an inner corner wing with this and just touching it up. I'm adding a nude shade to my waterline and then my crease shades on the lower lash line. Lining my cut crease with a little bit of concealer with a craft brush from the craft store. Doing the same thing on the wing, adding mascara and false lashes and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe down below and tap the like button if you enjoyed the look. I hope to see you in the next one and thank you for watching. Bye!